There were oohs and ahs as Kerr shone in the closing moments, driving down the right and thundering a shot over the bar. There were groans when she slipped on the Stadium Australia turf and briefly pulled a face of pain, before being able to continue. Gustafsson said he got very nervous as he saw Kerr crumple to the ground, and explained he hopes she's okay. So does the rest of the country. Kerr has a profile in Australia which surpasses just being a footballer. She is the poster girl of this World Cup, now the star is finally on stage. First of all Australia winning without Sam Kerr is impressive. Now she's coming back, it's scary. Former England international Sue Smith said on BBC One. Great for Australia though. Gustafsson, for his part, is refusing to get carried away. If a team wants to be successful, you can't rely on one player, he said after the game. And that's no disrespect to Sam as she knows I think she's the best player in the world. Sam, coming back, doesn't have everything on her shoulders now. It's a team effort. Players are challenging me now, I've got more than 11 players good enough to start and multiple options to score goals. With a team finding form and an icon back in action, the Australia fans could have much more to celebrate at this World Cup. Flares at the ready, folks.